Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy here in the Rebel Bourbon hat is Dustin. I always comment on my hats. Because you're always wearing freaking different hats. I like bourbon hats. swag. I like hats. He likes bourbon swag. I also like bourbon. <laughs> yeah. I'm the bourbon guy. I'm a music guy. I'm not wearing a music hat or a music shirt. You don't have any. You guys need to send him some. Yeah. Vintage concert tees all day long. With holes in them. Uh, only if they're seed burnt. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> all right. All right. I set, I set you up. You're like a set. And you're like spite. No, man. You tee that one. I'm almost yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. All right. So we're going to talk to you all about some bourbon and country music that actually I've never heard this song or had this bourbon. And I like Old Forester. That's one of my favorite brands. So, uh, interesting, interesting thing about this is that this bottle is actually a gift to me. Yeah. However, I am not really at liberty to say on the channel... Who from? Who from. Okay. Um, but um, if you happen to be watching this, and I kind of doubt they are, but if, if they happen to come across this... I want you to know I appreciate this bottle. Absolutely. I'm excited to try it because I've always wanted to try Statesman. Yeah. And this so. is Old Forester Statesman. Uh, it's 95 proof. And uh, what song are we listening to? This This is a, a request. This is a request song. This I is a highly requested song. True. Um, and actually, even before I've heard it, thank you. Because we listened to Faith Hill. With Tim first. And said to exactly all of them, give us more Faith Hill. Like, what the hell? Yeah, why have we not yet heard Faith Hill? Right. And uh, to your credit, boy, did you step up. So we got lots of votes for this particular song. Well, we did another one. Yeah, we did another one. What's that one? You were mad about the dress she was wearing. I don't think it was your color or something. No, I was mad because they... In the video, they just objectified her. Yeah. The song was amazing. But, I mean, objectively, she's hot. Objectively, subjectively. Sure. You know, in this universe, a parallel universe. But, more importantly, she has a beautiful voice. And that's why we're here. Right. Right? I actually get annoyed at the um, objectifying of women to sell things. That bothers me. I get that. Interesting notes. So this is uh, Faith Hill's There You'll Be. Yeah. So I, I've i never heard it. I don't think you have. No. Wait a minute. So if this is the song that's in Pearl Harbor, I've seen that movie. Oh, you know what? So have I, but I hated it. Yeah? And I actually preferred the 1970s version of Pearl Harbor much better. What did you hate about it? So uh, the new 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 ish that's been out for a while. The new ish Pearl Harbor focused on like the individuals, like, like love scene. some random commander's love situation. Where no no no, you're not gonna want that. I'm just saying. You're... And yes, you, I do want. And uh, the pre the seventies version like. They were from the perspective of Admiral Yamamoto's bridge. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't think and I've seen that version. Y'all go see it. Okay. Yeah. I'll watch it after we record this. Yeah. All right. No, too much time. All right, here we go. Pick another one. Why? It just doesn't sound right. It sounds like it's... you know what it, it is. The I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we're hearing like this distortion, like when it was recorded. It's clipping. Well, it's it's like it's 
Somebody recorded a recording is what I... Yeah. Doesn't that, isn't that what it kind of sounds like? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to find us another... We don't edit. You get to watch me search. Just hit enter. There'll be another one. All right, won't that take... Yeah, there we go. All I'll right. do that one. Ooh, how about a lyric video? Yeah, it says with lyrics. Oh, all right. Let's try this Homes one. deserve beautiful furniture. Oh, Just ask this Bob God. Comfy Bob Ross. I'm going to paint a picture of I'm you sorry. resting joyfully yeah. on a Bob Opedic prize yeah. hybrid mattress. Go away, Bob Ross. That sounds better. Oh my God, this one's under. Can we hide the video? Oh, it's Pearl Harbor. Okay. Just, we're going to hide the video from ourselves. Yeah, we're, you'll see it, but we're You'll gonna, see it, we will not. We're just listening. So, sorry this is taking us so long to get going, but one, we didn't want to give you crappy audio. Right. And two, we really don't like being distracted by videos. We, we want to appreciate this song. That's why we're here. To have you in my life when I look back on these days, I'll look and see your face. You were right there for me. In my dreams, I always see you soar above the sky. In my heart, there'll always be a place for you. be wrong of me to say that reminded me of like Celine Dion oh I'm gonna be way worse than that uh oh uh oh but I'm gonna preface it okay her vocals are outstanding 
Yes. Like when she when she throws it out there, mm-hmm. I actually got chills. Yeah. I got some chills off of that. Um, and I really like the content of the song. That I want to talk about that. somebody's. We don't know if he's KIA or he's just deployed. I want to talk more about that. So, so the part I loved about this song was that the who is super subjective. Right. Right. So this could be your aunt. True. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. And I was like, whoa. And and you're right, in the Pearl Harbor context kind of made us, forced us, forced me Mm -hmm. into a military thinking. And that is definitely not necessarily true here. Right. And This could be about anybody. And I was looking for, like, the love tie, like, maybe... It wasn't there. She did not specifically say it was, like... Romantic. Exactly. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yes. And I love that. I was like, that's cool because this song can be interpreted by everybody. There's there's at least one person in your life, most likely, who has has taught you Yeah. All the shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? So are you ready for me to piss them off? I'm sorry. Alright, go. And I'm ninety percent sure. That this is due to the combination of piano and violin. There was an extremely talented artist that wrote a lot of songs that are kind of perceived as sort of cheesy. But if you really freaking listen to them, there is extraordinary both songwriting and singing talent there. All right. So after this short commercial break, he'll tell you who he's talking about. No. So this rang to me as a female Barry Manilow. Oh, my God. No. 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 Yeah. So uh, I can see where you're going with the... The band if we her. play this again, you're going to hear I it, man. Don't, 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 don't do it. So You're going to hear it. I, what I was going to say, actually, her vocals, as you mentioned, are amazing. Outstanding. I could have done without all the background music. Without all of it. Like, it was not impressive. It almost, it honestly felt movie studio produced. So we're finding a lot of these country artists apparently are returning to the roots and sometimes are sitting down with one guitar and one microphone and making a song. Right. This should have been done that way. Oh my God, dude. Yes. But what we got was female Barry Manilow. Not to knock Faith's vocal skill, she blows my mind. Was he the one with the nose? Yes. That's what I thought. Oh man, do you kiss oh, me stop, and stop, stop me from shaking? Stop it! Oh, don't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. <laughs> mm, hey, how different was this song? I'm telling you, dude. All right. Anyway, all right. We're past the Barry Manilow. Do you have anything else to say about the song? Not really, other than I enjoyed it, and I want you guys to request more faith. Definitely. I would, so this is again. My, my Barry Manilow crack is going to be interpreted poorly. So I was thinking about this, on but that. I enjoyed it. I was thinking about this on the way over here. I was listening to the Who. Okay, for clarification, <laughs> we need. <laughs> Thank you. I need you people to understand that when he says I'm rocking the Who, we're not talking about those twats from England. No. We're talking about Chinese death metal here, or Mongolian death metal. Oh my God, they'd kill me they for that. They would literally kill you for saying that. We need to edit. <laughs> no, we can't edit. Don't kill him. The who, I'm he, very sorry. He did not mean it. I, I'm truly sorry. He didn't mean it. Mongol death metal. I'm so sorry. Please don't decapitate me. I kind of want to. <laughs> like, I kind of anyway, deserve it. I, you probably should, what is it called? Sabuku? Sapu, uh, uh, you said something weird, and now I can't. <laughs> seppuku. Seppuku. There it is. I was close. Yeah. I just I had the wrong syllables. It kind of is the only honorable thing to do now. I, all right. <laughs> so 
Anyway, The Who, the Mongolian band, uh, I was listening to it over, on the way over here, and I asked myself, why do I listen to this? Because I like it a lot. And why do I like it a lot? Because it makes me feel good. It's like got a good beat, and I'm just like, yeah, right? This isn't a playlist for me, but it's a good song. This one. It didn't make you feel something. No, it did. It made me... didn't make you feel something you want to feel driving down the road. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes. Because it made me think about people that, have, that are out of my life now due to, like, death yeah. or whatever, right? And it, it kind of made me think of those folks. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. But I don't really want to think about that again. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, I get that. That's just me. So, what do you think of this uh, statesman? I old think, Forester. I think this might be the best Old Forester I've had. They got a lot of stuff. They do, and my previous favorite was probably between the 1920 and the 1910. The 1920 is so good because it's so... It's like... I think it's barrel-proof. And it's so much flavor. This is just... This is nice. This is super complex too, man. Yeah. Super complex. Um, initially, I'm getting oak and like a cinnamon caramel mix. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, not a super sweet. It's not super sweet though. Like No. It's almost a butterscotch. Mm. Up front, that's true. Um, at the mid palate, I'm getting like so that butterscotch you're getting up front. I'm getting at the mid. I get it. It turns more buttery, like butter butter, to me towards the mid palate. And then the finish is kind of lemony. Uh, it, but mixed with bitter. In the middle of my tongue, it's bitter, and on the sides, it's lemony. Oh. Not pine salt. No, no, not pine salt. <laughs> uh, if it is, I'm going to start drinking pine salt. What? <laughs> what? 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 So you start drinking pine salt on the chair? If it tastes like this shit, yeah. I can see the lemon. It's like a, yeah, it's got a citrus back there. And then it rolls to a bitter that yeah. is just pleasing. And it kind of sits there for a minute. It kind of dries out. I could drink this all night. Just drink this all night. And I, I kind of suspect... Let's experiment. I kind of suspect that because this is so complex, the difference between a small and big sip will be night and day. Let's try it. Okay. I'll go small sip. That was different for me. That was loaded with caramels and brown sugars. Actually, so for me, we must have been taking like the same kind of sip before. Because that you saw me turn the glass up. That big of a sip, it kind of, it lost a lot of complexity. <laughs> yeah. It, it did. It, 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 like, it's still pleasing, but it, it doesn't have... It doesn't have that uh, butterscotch anymore. So I did the big sip and I got the flavor profile I just described. So a small sip. I guess the bottom line is to really enjoy this old Forester Statesman. Mid, tiny sips. Mid sip. Yeah. Tiny or, or mid size sip. Yeah. It, we're learning. We, I think prior to doing this channel, we didn't realize this. Yeah. That the size of your sip can, like, radically change the flavor. Drastically. Yeah. So, hey, guys, if you enjoyed this, yeah, uh, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Down there. Over yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. Click the little bell. Um, get down in the comments and tell us what songs we need to listen to mm -hmm. and what bourbons to drink. If uh, we operate on the democratic process here... Your votes, again. Your, your votes uh, propel the songs to the front. 
However, if you bribe us with a bottle of bourbon... Democratic process. It propels them directly to the front much faster. Mm -hmm. Democracy. Till next time, guys. See ya.